in this video I will show you how to access your WD TV hard drive from your remote computers on your home network. Um, I do this in case I need to add files or if I want to download files, watch files, whatever. Um, let's begin here. First of all, you're going to need to know what your address is for your WD TV. Mine, my router, home router, is 192.168.0.110. Um, it is going to ask you for a password. Uh, mine's already auto saved, but it should be root without a password. Um, if it does not work, they have a nice little tool here at forum.wdlxtv.com. Um, it's called WDTV Hack Password Recovery Tool. What you do is you'll take this file, you'll put it on your flash drive, reboot your system, and it'll reset all your passwords. So your web interface would be WDLXTV and the password would be WDLXTV. If you're going to FTP into your WDTV, it's going to be root and password's hack me. Now that we have entered the web end of our WDTV, we're going to go into the configuration file. Wait for it to load. All right. Here you'll see all the settings that's on your S00 custom file. Um, how I have mine set up is have file sharing Samba enabled. So as you see my settings, I have the sh Windows Share Server at SAN. Export mode on, shares on standby, which I show you, but my WD right now is I just powered it off, which is on standby, but it still works. Make sure your standby work group is the same as what your computer is on. So it's on a work group, but I'll show you. As you see, mine is on work group. Now, everything else I left the same. This is the same. Guests and users, you can just do users only. Um, right here, allow guests read only, users to read and write. Have that enabled. Right now, I'm not going to give my password, but right now I just have it as test and test. Um, let's see here. Other than that, your, FT, your uh, Apache should be on. Um, I really haven't changed any of these settings, just whatever it came with. Um, once you have those settings saved, I'll show you one more time. Go down and press save. Now reload. And there you go. Now all that should be right. What we'll do is minimize this. Go back. I'll just refresh this. It's still there. You just double click. Everything should be shared. Uh, movies. TV share. Movie sheets. Which I don't have anything under there right now. What I like to do is, when I double click, I like to uh, map my network drive. That way, it's actually lo located right here, which is just easy click. So everything is right there. Um, another thing I like to do then is, you know, go on trips or whatever. This nice little program is called HFS. We do a Google search for that, which I already have. HFS, the HFS HTTP file server. Um, go to this website, you go to download, it's a small file. Once it's downloaded, it'll be right here in your desktop. Click run. You can change it to port whatever you want. This 
this IP address for here is 111, but I'm going to change the port, I'll just say to 9876. Alright, and here, you drag your files here, add a file or folder from disk. Um, I'll just say, How I Met Your Mother, a great TV series. Uh, you want it as a real folder. There, there it is. Everything should be good to go. Um, this also can put passwords on here. Um, it's going to take me a second to find it though. Uh, user accounts. I already have one user on here. Um, there's my password. I'm just going to apply. That's okay. So now, minimize that. I'll go in here. I'll type in one. Nine two one 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 one. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, one six eight point zero point one one one. And that's going to be port nine eight seven six. There it goes. Ask my username and password. Mars. Password. And there you go, there's how I met your mother. Now, if you need to know how to do this with uh, outside your network, so you want to access it from work or whatever, uh, let me know and I can make a video on that also. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to do this with uh, your local network. Um, other than that, pretty simple, pretty standard. Um, yeah, I'll work good. Everything is there. Otherwise, you don't have to pass password protected either, but better safe than sorry. Um, comment, let me know what you think.